Our next question comes from a viewer named Miranda. And Miranda says, for Lynn or Jamie, and presumably the big guys upstairs, I was wondering how the angels feel about astral projection and past life regression. Are they okay with us digging into the realms and researching? Thanks, Miranda. This is a wonderful, wonderful question. question. We're aiming it up at the presence who just answered the question about dreaming because yes. they're so similar. Yes. Astral projections and regressions, past life regressions, yes. are similar to dreams in that they are connections to other events that occurred in other times or other dimensions. Yes, that's true. And a lot of presences in the lower levels are looking uncomfortable. And I feel that feeling. We remember that in all dimensions there are presences of varying levels of intention. Yes, that's true. And for example, here in Ground Zero Planet Earth, observing humanity uh, and other species as well, but usually humans are who are watching these videos in Ground Zero Planet Earth, not raccoons or something like that. That's true. So if you observe other uh, members of your species, you will see that they have varying degrees of intentions. Some have helpful intentions, uh, some have selfish intentions, and it's usually where on the scale of selfishness does the intent lie. Yes. And it's no different in any other dimension, and so these presences who have axes to grind really don't like when the uh, portals are opened up between the depths, oh. ground zero planet Earth, and divinity. Yeah, that's because true. Because the intervening astrals, they've set up their little fiefdoms, the yes. dead presences in the astrals have set up fiefdoms, and they yes. don't like these holes being blown open. No, not at but all. But it's extremely necessary and helpful to blow the holes open. However, blowing a hole into the astrals and then just coming up into the realm of the fakers and liars uh -oh. is not a helpful uh, project for the individual who's participating in that exercise. That's true. You really need to get up through the astrals and it's very tricky. That's true. So the past life work is actually a little safer right now than the astral projections. Right now, given the turbulence and the corruption of the astrals, astral projection is quite the dangerous sport. That's and what he said. Not recommended because the corruption is extreme, the con artists are everywhere, yes, and almost true. nobody has the perception to tell the difference between a good con that's true. and the real deal. So astral projection is not a recommended sport right now. The past life regression is still reasonably safe. Yes, it's true. In that it all occurred in ground zero planet Earth or ground zero another planet. Yes, that's and true. And you're simply time traveling in a past life regression. You're moving backward through time. Yes. And as of this moment, that is still safe. Yes, that's true. So much can be learned through the vehicle of past life regression and much can be healed as well. Yes, that's and true. And so th the godly presence who's answering this question who is far um, higher in rank than the godly presences affiliated with planet Earth. Oh, yeah. So many, 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 many more planets f for whom that godly presence is responsible. Yes, that's true. Including but not limited to planet Earth. That's true. That Godly Presence's recommendation is to stick with past life regression for now until the corruption of the astrals uh, is resolved. That's true. Does this answer the question? Look at all those presences looking so uncomfortable. uncomfortable terribly uncomfortable. But that 
speaker outranks all, all of, of them, them by so much by so much if they outrank the speaker they would say something right now that's true because they do not look happy no somebody is saying it's really important to get that these uh they're calling them local uh, lords who set themselves yeah. up as a fiefdom over a particular planet or another uh, that they are not the be all and end all yeah. and to really remember that and that we are pearls on a string to spirit all of us all the time and for all of us there's always a higher soul and a higher soul and a higher soul and a higher soul and when we forget to look up and we pretend that we are gods and then we start tromping around we start to look like feudal lords. That's and true. It's unattractive. It's not an attractive look. Does this answer the question? Does it answer the Does question? It answer what was the, the question? question? Can we read the question yeah. again? I was wondering how the angels mm. feel about astral projection and past life regression. Are they okay with us digging into the realms and researching? Ah, Aha. that's why this came up. So yes. the local fiefdom, yes. they, don't, they don't want you digging into the realms and researching. Not at all. But those who outrank the local fiefdom uh, say, uh, that's really good. However, it's not all that safe right now. Why don't you just stick with past life regressions? Don't stay out of the astrals because the astrals are in shakedown mode. That's and true. And con artists are everywhere. That's true. And there's there's... I, they have become as lawless as cyberspace. Yes. So that's unfortunate but true and that it is becoming more and more apparent and divine presences are beginning to work to compress the astrals so that divinity and density come closer together again. And in the intervening years, it's best to stick with past life regression for your altered state exploration. Does that answer the question? Now I don't hear any more. I don't hear any more. Oh, good. It rolls up with that updraft. That's true. Okay. Our next question comes from a viewer named Jen. And Jen says, I'm confused on if there is one superior omniscient God or the theory we are all pieces of God. Is it possible there was a quote creator God as evolution suggests as far as we know? I come to this conclusion because it does not seem plausible that the origin of the Big Bang would exist as a mass without an intent of someone putting it there. Okay. Nodding. Nodding upstairs. Godly Presence is nodding and, s and noticing how one question has rolled into another yes. so beautifully. Yes. And talking about how there is some perception that this is the only universe yes. and how extremely incorrect that is. So incorrect is to be like blades of grass the yes. universe is like blades of grass so many of them and to think that this would be the only one is again that uh, it's hard to know is it just the ignorance of children or is there arrogance mixed into it and talking again about the local feudal lords That's and how they're, they're uh, it, this is really an ugly reveal of the local feudal lords of this particular planet yes. and dimension and how like what are they talking about down there That's what basically someone said in that higher dimension room yeah what what in the world are they talking about down there yes. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't. So uh, each aspect of divinity needs to continue to look up. And there's always another aspect of divinity to whom that presence can look up to 
and should be looking up to, and so on in an eternal string, and way, 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 way up high, so many dimensions higher than this one is to be uncounted. That's true. There is going to be a place where all these strands converge. However, it is nowhere near here. Yes, that's true. And those who are experimenting with creating dimensions, creating universes, are doing so, but they are uh, a dime a dozen is what this That's person what he just says. Said, They're a dime, a dime a dozen. dozen. Everybody's doing that. Um, they come, they go. The universes and the dimensions that's come true. and go. And that that's okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we're that uh, there's nothing important about this planet no, or dimension true. combination. It's that's just true. very, very average, which is why it was selected as a test planet dimension, because it's so average that's and true. so unimportant to everybody except for those who are living upon it. To those who are living upon it, it's important. That's true. But the arrogance and ignorance is really stunning. And they're, they're not trying to single out anyone. No. And they really want to make it clear that they're not trying to single out any of these viewers. That's true. And, or, and they're not trying to make anybody feel bad. No. But uh, this does not reflect well on the so-called divine presences affiliated with planet Earth. That's true. It doesn't look good. Is there one superior omniscient God, or are we all pieces of God? And is it possible there was a, quote, creator God? Souls all contain sparks of divinity. The lives are supposed to be living in melded connection with the souls. That's true. This is where the disconnect has occurred in this planet. The souls and the lives have come unhinged, and this is a big problem. And lives are living in oppositional defiance to their soul plans, That's and this true. is a really big problem. So it, it's really uh, kind of like a legal discussion. That's what this godly presence is saying, kind of like divine law. It's a legal discussion yes. as to whether or not uh, the lives in and of themselves have any, I guess, legal standing under divine That's law. That's what he's saying. And it, that question is not yet uh, answered, that there's no determination yet. The souls have divine standing. The souls are sparks of, of divinity. Yes, that's true. But do the lives uh, have legal standing? We don't know the answer yet. I'm sorry. And that's a that's that supervising presence way, up, way high. up high. It seems like what's happened, possibly as a result of Gabriel's experiment, yeah. is that the local order is being kind of like reviewed from corporate. That's uh, what it feels would be a good like. metaphor. Uh, like some big head honcho has come in to see what the heck is going on there. Yes. And uh, not liking what is being found. That's true not satisfied that things have been handled properly for him is the message why do you ask and does this answer the question let's read the question again yeah, one more. is there one superior omniscient God no no way 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 far away Maybe, but y nobody here is able to wrap their heads around things like that, so go with no. Oh. There's always a God over the God. Yes, that's the point. Are we all pieces of God? The souls are. It's unclear whether or not the host lives have legal standing. Oh. Is it possible there was a, quote, creator god. There's so many creator gods. There yes. are a dozen. Yes. And that's it. Okay. Guys, we're really 
would like to say how many questions we did not present to you. That's true. That we, we really did sort them out. This is some boots on the ground soul yes, who was true. sent in to do a job and is saying these are the questions of humanity and that this is actually on target to that idea of omniscience. Yes, is that true. when these reports come to you and you disregard them, disregard the reports, then you're limiting your sense of what's going on. That's true. This is what's happening. These are the questions that they're asking. I'm sorry. We specifically did not include any questions about drugs. That's and true. Most of the questions are actually about drugs. That's they true. actually are about drugs. That's true. And babies, drugs and babies. Yes. I'm, I'm serious. We're not making We're not up. making this up. Most of the questions are about drugs and babies. These are the questions that were not about drugs and babies. That's true. It's drugs, 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 baby, drug, 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 and another question. That's true. That's the cadence. So these are the best questions. I'm sorry. Does this answer the question? Does it answer the question? They feel very done with this conversation. Yes, they do. And it's do. really, really, really important for us to remember that they don't have to help us. Super nice. And do you know how much bargaining power we have? We have zero, zero, exactly mm. zero bargaining power. It's really important for us to take this in. And we've seen so much arrogance and aggression toward divinity. And that's so short-sighted. It's really crazy to argue with higher powers it really is and to remember that they don't have to help us and to be grateful for the help that comes and to say thank, thank you. you wow I don't know what we're supposed to do because the questions they say the questions are disrespectful no. But those are the questions those that are, are being questions. asked, the and if we one. don't relay the questions, then we're not doing the job. That's true. <sighs> These are the questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.